Monsanto has been criticized for advancing research on genetically modified organisms or GMOs, which have been blamed for harming health and the environment. But now Danish scientists believe that they're close to producing a natural alternative to GMOs. Malcolm Brabant reports. A horticultural revolution is taking place at this giant greenhouse where every week they ship half a million bright little plants called Kalanko. Working with scientists from Copenhagen University, the research and development team at the Queen Flower Company has started breeding a new super Kalanko plant. A natural bacterium found in soil is introduced to the seed to change its characteristics by giving it a more effective root system. These are plants seeing true transformation and they're ready to be transplanted into soil. Just received them from the lab. We see a higher degree of resistance towards pests, better water uptake, better nutrient uptake. First of all, we don't have to use a lot of pesticides. We don't have to use growth regulation. We use less fertilizer, so uh, we get a more sustainable product. The difference between uh, GM plants and these plants that have been uh, transformed in a natural way is that we do, we do not insert foreign genes in our Kalanko. There's a rich array of vegetables on display at this market stall in Copenhagen. These are just some of the foodstuffs which the plant company is now going to test using bacterial transformation. I think it will improve the taste experience we have when we eat a tomato. I think there's a lot of people in the world that would love to eat potatoes, especially in the tropics and the subtropics. Potatoes do not grow very well on the conditions that they have there. It's too warm and the plant is really not adapted to the climate there. What can happen when we make this transformation is that it will be able to grow there. It will because of its improved uh, root system, be able to take up water and nutrients. This development is of great interest to China, which has the problem of trying to feed about 20% of the world's population on about 11% of the Earth's arable land. Some scientists and officials are pushing for greater use of genetically modified technology to boost agricultural efficiency, but there is strong opposition. Many millions of people aren't convinced and are insisting upon natural products. It's not yet certain that bacterial transformation will provide the hope for advances and challenge GMOs. The Danish scientists expect to have a clearer idea in three to five years' time. Malcolm Brabant, CCTV, Denmark.